Guys, we are going through a crazy cold snap right now, but that's not gonna stop us from bringing you another product review. We've got one coming up, it's a good one, and it's next. Guys, this past weekend has been crazy. We've had 50 below wind chills up here in northern Minnesota, and in my experience, that's when stuff stops working, that's when stuff starts breaking. So unfortunately, I have not been out ice fishing this weekend, but the product that we're gonna review today is one that I've been using for about the past month, so I feel like I've had plenty of time to use this product and get a good feel for it and give you a solid review. Now, the backstory on this is, if you're anything like me, you probably have been used to taking all of your rods and reels and stuffing them in a five gallon bucket. You get out to your fishing site and you're trying to grab the one that you want and it's all twisted and tangled up with the other rods and lines. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. The product that I've got for you today is going to help to fix that problem for you. I think it's a pretty good solution and it's a cheap and easy one. Let's get to it. This is the fishing bucket bracket from Beaver Dam. It was $15 at Cabela's. I think you can get it right now at Fleet Farm. They've got it in stock for the same price, but isn't this better than having all my rods just shoved into this five gallon pail? Each bracket can hold up to three rods or three tip ups. We're going to talk about how well it holds those things later. You can attach it onto any five gallon pail. We'll talk about that as well. Right now I've got one in the front holding two rods and a tip up and I've got another one in the back that's holding three rods. We're going to get to the pros and cons of these brackets but first let's talk about installation. So assembly of the bucket bracket is super simple. Just line it up on the bucket wherever you like. The idea though I'll tell you a trick. Try to mount it as high up on the bucket as you can. Mark the areas where you're going to be drilling for the bolts with some black uh, Sharpie marker. Once you've got all those areas marked, go ahead and take off the bracket, drill out those holes. Before you mount the brackets, be sure to attach the straps to the actual brackets themselves before putting them onto the pail. Put the bracket back on one at a time, put the bolts through, thread on a nut, and screw it on down, and there you go, as simple as that. While we're on the topic of installation, this is probably a good time to talk about one of the cons. Now, this bucket bracket will not work for all five gallon buckets. Now, five gallon buckets, as you go up the bucket, at some point they have a little rim around the bucket, like this here, this rim going around the bucket. Now, from what I have measured out, the minimum distance from the bottom of the bucket up to the first part, the lower part of this rim, has to be at least 11 and a half inches in order for these brackets to work. Anything further, any rim further down than that or any distance smaller than that, and the bracket will actually hang off the bottom and will not work. Now, with the brackets themselves, each bracket will hold three rods or three tip-ups or a combination of those. The tip-ups fit in there perfectly, okay? So they're, they're, they're held in there perfectly, they don't move at all, they're great. When it comes to the rods, if you have one of those rods where after the reel handle, the rod handle back from the reel handle is very short, it sits in there perfectly, works great. But if your rod handle is a little bit longer on the furthest back part of the handle, they tend to, if you put them in the little hole and sit them down as far as they can go, they tend to actually ride below the level of the bucket. If you take your reel handle strap on the bracket itself and strap it in, then that means it's gonna be pushing that rod handle down below the level of the bucket, and when you set it down on the ice, it's gonna be all awkward and it can tip over and you can have problems. So there is a way around that though, and I would say don't let that stop you from using these brackets because I have plenty of rod handles that are fairly long and I have been able to use this, these brackets and they've worked great for me. All you have to do is when you put the rod into the bracket itself, instead of putting it in the little hole or the little recess at the bottom of the bracket, just cant the rod a little bit to the side and stick it down into the side of the bracket. And instead of using the bottom strap around the reel handle, just use the top strap around the actual rod itself. They will sit perfectly fine. They're not gonna bounce around. They're not gonna fall out of there. It's gonna hold your rods perfectly well. And they're not gonna be getting tangled up like they would if you just threw them into a five gallon bucket together. Now, if a single bracket will hold three rods or three tip ups, you're probably wondering how many of these brackets can you actually get on a single five gallon pail? And the answer is two. I've got two of them mounted to my green pail that I showed you earlier 
earlier, which is great. It's working awesome for me. I'm probably actually going to pick up two more on over the next week here and attach them to my blue bucket because I got plenty more rods and reels that right now are still shoved inside of that green bucket um, because the six there just isn't enough for me. And if I'm going and hunting giant pike like we do here on Lake of the Woods and I want to put all my tip ups on there as well, things just get cluttered. So I'll probably be in the market for a couple more if that tells you anything about what I think about this product. Okay, so a simple product doesn't require a complex review. That's about it, guys. Pros and cons, I would say fairly durable plastic on there. I'm not worried about that breaking on me. Very easy to set up and install. The price, not cheap, not expensive, sort of in between. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a pro and a con because it'd be nice if it was a little bit cheaper after all this is is just plastic ease of use and it simply works it simply works i really really like this product on the con side of things is i wish there was some kind of better solution to where you could strap and you could get two straps on a rod that has a little bit longer handle without it sitting down below the lower level of the pail. Somebody can figure that out, probably got yourself a pretty good product that you could market. If there is a product that you use to simply organize your rods and reels, let me know down in the comments section below. And while you're there, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification next to it so that you get all the latest videos from Fish It First. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button as well. And until next time, tight lines. Oh,